this is Cleantech Business TV for Solar Business Club from InterSolars of America, you know, the last day. And we are together with uh, president of Solar Business Club in Latin America and Brazil, and also founder and CEO of CICES uh, Solar, uh, Leonardo Curioni. Uh, buongiorno, buon dia. Buon dia, Thomas. Tudo bem? Tudo joia com o senhor. I had actually a problem, you know, with CICES. Why? Because I couldn't get inside you. There was so, you know, so a lot of people. Absolutely. I mean, it was so amazing. Yes, this InterSolar, yes? Yes, yes. Very amazing. A lot of people. The success of this edition uh, is uh, very, very big. And uh, we didn't have this expectation. Uh, and uh, the surprise was a lot of final customer too, not just people that are working in our field in the renewable energies but a lot of final customers mm-hmm. um, entrepreneurs uh, private citizens that uh, just uh, believe in this kind of technology and they just want to investigate the newest technology as possible so uh, for two days we had uh, the problems that the people in the crowd outside could not enter 100 percent uh, to the the business center because we reached uh, two times the maximum capacity wow. inside so this uh, is just uh, what the disruptive technology can do also in brazil exactly i was really surprised because actually uh, i'm in solar since 16 years maybe i attended 500 exhibitions around the world and this one actually was the most crowded that i've ever seen yeah yeah i, I believe that also because we had more or less more than 25,000 contacts in just two days wow. of exhibition wow. and uh, this is a huge, huge number for just the Brazilian market. Uh, we didn't expect a lot of uh, other foreigner citizens or foreigner entrepreneurs and uh, we had a lot of, lot of Brazil. Uh, all Brazil uh, crossed uh, the, the land to reach Sao Paulo mm-hmm. and to reach the InterSolar this year. Maybe also because of the fact that uh, there is such a big, you know, uh, support of the society, yes? Every day on the media, the renewable energy and the solar energy is uh, in every corner, uh, not just uh, social uh, programs like mm-hmm. Instagram, Facebook, but also on the news, the news, the media, the TV. Mm-hmm. So the, the sensibilization of, and the culture of the people right now is getting, uh, I guess, level. So everyone is interested in save energy, save money on their house, their companies, and they are just trying to find the way to how they can reach the solar energy, how they can reach this kind of savings of money. And uh, this, because also the InterSolar was very sponsored in the medias, attracted a lot of final customers. Mm-hmm. So Leonardo, um, I think next week we will come uh, with our team uh, to visit your new facilities, Perfect. yes, and then we will discuss more, you know, in details. But I would like to just, uh, as we are at InterSolar, and also this video will be on InterSolar TV, yes. watched by international audience. I would like to ask you, yes, because you created a company which was initially starting business in Brazil. Uh, recently, uh, we show we saw you in uh, Mexico, and uh, during our event uh, in Palacio Tangara, uh, you were saying that uh, you are not stopping only on Mexico. Absolutely no. Uh, we are now expanding. We recently opened also Hong Kong, uh, the holding, in order to sell worldwide to every kind of uh, very big customer directly in dollar. The wall kit, the wall systems, not just modules and inverters, but the wall systems. And uh, in order to facilitate, uh, to provide our main know how that it's logistic right now, international logistics. Then uh, we are starting Portugal oh. and uh, Italy up to the end of this year. Next year, more. Italy with country. Roberto? Yeah, yes, yes. Oh. It's one of our partners for South uh, Italy. Oh. And uh, Thomas, uh, my new general manager, and uh, my parents' company for the northern of Italy. Mm-hmm. Then uh, we will start also Spain and other countries like uh, Germany next year. And uh, the whole Europe will be covered up to June uh, next year. So we are focusing right now in uh, getting an expansion 
also on our partnership and cooperation with InterSolar because InterSolar for us it's the best way in order to show our business uh, across the world. We are participating in South America, in Mexico, and uh, we are expecting next year to uh, show in Munich. Munich. Oh. Uh, we are already negotiating with them, uh, not just uh, the, the booth, but also some kind of partnership, more partnership with them. And uh, we will attend uh, more or less all the InterSolar events uh, for 2020. So we can also think uh, to combine with Solar Business Club. Yes, yes, absolutely. So uh, we will uh, afford Solar Business Club as a f fundamental partner for us and also InterSolar too. Uh, so Leonardo, uh, I didn't understand actually why also you are opening the company in China. <laughs> no, it's a strategic decision mm -hmm. because uh, many, many customers that uh, are in Mexico or third world countries um, where the volatility of the local currencies are very high they just want to buy in dollar mm -hmm. then make uh, their own trading uh, in to, to provide uh, the, the systems and the goods to the final destination so we can uh, sell directly from China with our partners and the invoicing from Hong Kong uh, directly to the final customers so uh, we, they are not expecting uh, the fluctuation uh, of conversion etc okay. and they can decide just uh, to close a purchase order in dollar per watt uh, and that's it the, the because in Brazil there is always yeah. this fluctuation every week uh, we have a lot of fluctuation of currencies so uh, the price I'm making today I cannot provide for next week or yes, exactly. for next two weeks so uh, because the biggest projects need time to accomplish uh, and the purchase order are very strategic part of the deal we have to provide the solution uh, to to gain stability so we can fix a final price in dollar then uh, they accept the risk of the fluctuancy but uh, we cannot expose our company in mexico or in sieges uh, to make uh, a um, to provide systems for next year, for example, yes, exactly. at the fixed price. Yeah, because prices. we don't know the, the, currency, the currency and yes. uh, what will be the price, the final price in Brazil or in Mexico for next year. So this is because uh, the, the reason why we, we opened and started the Chinese position. So um, let's now speak about solutions, yes? Yeah. Uh, on the product side. So uh, you noticed during our gala that uh, we launched uh, Cleantech Business TV. So we expanded to other. Yes. Tech. and then I noticed also that on your booth besides solar systems like in the past you had a, a charging station and uh, you had a, a electric car with the Citrus brand not yet made by Citrus but uh, how do you think uh, you know how you will because you know we always were saying like a couple of years ago that at the end of the day companies will be providing not only just solar solution but like Absolutely. a cleantech solution is it also like uh, your this idea? is uh, the, the idea because just selling solar it's just a part of the revolution the revolution is mobility with electric cars the revolution is uh, to provide to to produce your own energy but also mm -hmm. you have to storage your energy inside some batteries at your house because you don't want uh, to exchange uh, uh, day by day with uh, the distributor of energy the energy that uh, uh, you have to buy for a price and uh, they say they you sell to them mm -hmm. a different price or make this kind of compensation and there are a lot of few uh, of fees and also taxes on that so it's uh, more smart it's smarter to to make some uh, storage inside your house so uh, electrical mobility charging station for cars it's the new petroleum of the future the it's management energy. Of energy yeah uh, it's uh, everything is connected so uh, the, the the final solution uh, it's uh, the energy efficiency and it's not just solar but it's electrical mobility uh -huh. uh, smart chargers uh, automation I would name it maybe like a family solution yeah? yes yes also for your house make a new model of air conditioning that uh, absorb less energy than the current generation uh, make some automation inside companies or inside houses uh, because every no everyone who travel and uh, drive during night in a big city they see a lot of lights uh, 
inside uh, corporation buildings that uh, all night long uh, are lighting up. Mm -hmm. So this is a waste of energy. Uh, a little automation, mm -hmm. you can provide a lot of cost savings on prices and in energy because it's a nonsense to 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 have the lights turning turned on. Uh, all one one of my friends, night. he said that the most renewable energy is energy efficiency. Yeah, the absolutely. Energy that you actually don't use. This huh? is uh, just a solar and producing energy, just a little piece of the puzzle. Okay, Ronaldo. So, um, last question. Uh, as uh, we experience this, you know, disaster in Amazon. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, as our industry, can actually help to find the solution to Amazon. Look, how, how, what, the Amazon what is problem is, how we should, is know, more those? complicated than the media or the people know because uh, it affects uh, a lot of uh, different uh, level of economy and also humankind because we forget that uh, in Amazonia live a lot uh, of indigenous people mm -hmm. uh, that are, have not uh, energy, have no. not uh, uh, water, have not nothing. So we have to rethink uh, everything. And uh, the, the Amazon problem is not uh, just today because every newspaper say in the last month that uh, Amazonia is on fire because it's on fire since 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And but it's just today. It's uh, the new moda is mm -hmm. ah, oh yes, the firing in Amazonia. But uh, no, it's not. Uh, just providing money from foreigner countries that will solve the problem because the problem is not money but it's a politic it's a strategic economy there it's limiting the power of companies and the power of speculators because the, the real problem in amazon is speculation mm -hmm. and uh, how do you think that we as uh, solar business club and our leaders community can uh, contribute, can help? Apple. Yes, uh, uh, first of all we have to study and not just uh, judging uh, mm -hmm. and uh, just reading the news uh, on the internet or on the media because the truth is always in the middle. Exactly. It's not like uh, television said or I am saying etc. It so depends which we have channel, to study. Yeah? Our idea also with the Solar Business Club is to provide and to make a documentary, people, uh, Amazonia nature, Amazonia economical interests, etc. That uh, we will uh, make uh, a cooperation with you and uh, with the Clean Tech TV, etc. for next year. Also maybe with the SBT television in order that to analyze objectively mm -hmm. the real problem of Amazonia, what uh, uh, is going on in Amazonia because no one knows. But also I think that uh, maybe it's interesting not only speak about the problem, but also about solutions. Yes. Absolutely. We have to, but be before to provide solution or provide uh, our ideas, we have to fully understand what is the, what real, is situation. the real situation, because nobody knows. What is your feedback from our event that we have during the whole day, from billions to trillions? And uh, how do you think uh, we should now focalize our activities, especially in this region? The past two years, we just uh, promote the Solar Business Club, we just see the interest of people, but it's just this year we saw the real uh, desire to join our community and not just uh, listening uh, and, to have a party, and to have a party and to have a meeting, but we have a lot of people interested in doing uh, part on this. So. We promote the events, and right now we are taking part and modeling this with, uh, with many, the strategy. Yes, uh, companies, people that are interesting mm -hmm. to make uh, the, the, their decision to do part of that, exactly. and not just to show and to assist. And also, I think, uh, like we discussed, also it's important to have this strategy 2030 mm -hmm. because uh, what I believe that uh, on the example of the companies like Sitges, yes, that you started just a few years ago, now you are growing like that. It's true that by 10 years, practically everything will be changed, yes? Absolutely. So the, the disruption is like yeah. this, everyone, everybody knows that. But uh, remember just a thing that money is just the consequences of a great work. Mm -hmm. So we are make uh, a great work to help uh, the planet. And exactly. This is our purpose, our goal. It's not just make money. Exactly. 
money are just consequences that uh, you can... Uh, That's why in the club absolutely. our motto is business plus meaningfulness plus joy. Yes, exactly. to end the help of the planet. Exactly. The vision is the sustainability of our plan. Exactly. So I think with this positive accent uh, and also... Uh, do you still remember what is our uh, flagship sign? <laughs> Thumbs up for, for solar up for and solar. for solar business club and for CSS and for solar. CHS and uh, let's and for go. Inter solar yeah absolutely and for Inter solar, Inter -Solar. The, solar I think the most crowded and the best uh, event ever in, in the world in exactly. the world in, in the, the world. world and uh, getting ready for 2020 because uh, there will be a lot, a lot of, of news. news and a lot of action absolutely thank you so much thanks for watching.